gripe so far with this thing is that But the reason why it doesn't feel like it's bad and We got the state trooper out Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but again away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on break We got a brand new ZX-10R, it literally has 1400 miles on it. It's super nice, it's got the M4 exhaust, Brembo brakes on there, show off piston forks. Thankfully, these dudes did put the uh, quad lock case on there so I can mount my phone. Got the fender eliminator and I'm gonna follow my family. Oh, they're getting it. <laughs> I'm gonna follow my family. We're just gonna go to the mall real quick and I'm just gonna look for a few things before we actually put this thing through its paces. There we go. Ah, yeah, just slip on that. It's literally all this thing has. And it sounds good. It's already been warmed up. As you can see, the temperature is at 150 already. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get it popping. It's in rain mode. I'll change that in a second. They're like, we're gonna put it in rain mode for you. I'm like, tight. Just what I wanted. This thing, the seating position is like really comfortable though. Like you definitely sit on top of the bike. More comfortable than the R1M. I'll say that. All right, dad, what are we doing? Uh, what are we doing? I don't think he knows where he's going either. Dude, I like Kawasaki. That quick shifter could be a little better though. Yeah, like it cuts power for a while. Jesus, this freaking road. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my God, this road's terrible. And the R1M, my quick shifter on my bike, oh, there's straight sand. It's not the greatest. And this thing compared to that is just slow. But dang, this thing feels light. Holy cow, that feels so good. And it just put the tire pressures to 36 and 42. Don't ask me why, that's what he said it to. Yeah, dude, that cuts power for a while, but it is super smooth, like really smooth. get over how good this thing feels holy cow all right let's change this mode can i change modes as i'm riding that's the million dollar question nope i don't think so we'll figure it out once we get to our destination i mean it's definitely not slow though i'll give it that it is not a slow bike by any means Oh, the, the downshifts are better than the freaking upshifts on this bike. Look at that. The upshifts are terrible, but those... Oh, yeah. The, the auto blip is beautiful. That's perfect. It almost auto blips as well as the S1K that I rode. Brakes feel good, as they should. There are Brembo brakes on here. When do Brembo's not feel good? That's the real question. I freaking love Brembo's. That's my biggest gripe with the r1m is that there's not brembos on it like yamaha that's your premier sport bike there should be brembos on it when i hop on my ducati which i haven't ridden in a while and use the brakes on that it has brembos and hop back on my r1m i can tell the difference hey Okay, she's throwing a little bit of flames. I'll see you, girl. Yeah, this thing is low to the ground, too. Like, I can easily flat foot this bike. And I'm not a short guy. Like, I'm six foot. So, like, flat footing most bikes is not a problem. But, yeah, this, if you're a shorter rider, this is definitely a better bike than the R1M. Man, I, this, is like, this feels very natural. Like, the controls and the feeling of the bike. Like, some bikes, when you get on there and start riding, like, it, it, everything just feels so foreign. But... I feel at home on this bike, 100%. Like, all the controls are where they should be. Like, I'm not looking for stuff. And we got the state trooper out. 
I'm glad I didn't hit it because I almost did. And I was, we're going 90 miles an hour right now. <laughs> What's the state trooper? <laughs> That's hilarious. I was this close to hitting. I just don't know where I'm going. Otherwise, I would not have seen him and I definitely would have hit it real hard. That's God looking out. Thank you. All right, now we're in sport mode. There we go. Oh, the quick shifter is much better in sport mode. Okay, now we're talking Kawasaki. Yep, yep, yep. Quick shifter is much better. Those downshifts are incredible. Buttery smooth. Just listen to this thing, man. Sounds good. Do y'all know I'm a huge fan of unique sounding bikes like the Aprilia, the R1 case in point, obviously. The Ducatis, like any bike that sounds different than the typical inline four, I'm, I'm all about. But I will admit this thing does sound good. All right, let's hit it a little bit here. Look at the first gear, why not? She comes alive, right at 10K, you feel that jolt of power. That's what I was looking for. I was like, where is that? But man, we are in freaking South Florida right now. <laughs> On a KRT, correct me if I'm wrong, Kawasaki ZX-10R. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> what is life, man? What is life? Just listen to her. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Talk to him, girl. Talk to him. Right, let's get on for this uh, light changes. There's a lot on this tack. You got lean angle, max lean, odometer, trip A, trip B. I think the lean angle is cool. Oh, wow. And it tells you how much throttle you're giving it. It tells you a lot, man. Yeah, she pops a little bit. Okay. I think we got a cop up here. He is chilling in the median. Yep. I'm glad I did not come ripping by him. Unmarked cop car out here chilling, boy. He definitely would have got my. So, yeah, we are headed to Sawgrass Mills Mall. Gotta spend some time with the fam before we go explore. Because once I'm gone, I'm gone. This thing finds neutral very easily, which is nice. All right, well, um, we're going to eat, get some food, maybe do a little bit of shopping, and then we'll come back to the video. But as of right now, love it. <laughs> Don't have any complaints, really, besides that quick shifter. What a beautiful machine. I literally love how Kawasaki made it look so pissed off. But right, I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. It's been a few hours. We got food. Did a little bit of shopping because we're in freaking Miami, Florida. But man, look how pissed off <laughs> this bike looks. I do want to get this on the highway. We got an hour and a half ride back to where we're staying. Oh, yeah. Talk to me, girl. But yeah, we are going to get on the highway, so we'll push this thing just a little bit. It is approaching rush hour right now, so I'm, I'm sure we're going to hit a little bit of traffic. It says it's 102 degrees out. Holy hell. It is so hot out here in South Florida, but I'd much rather be hot than cold any day of the week. Look at all that play you have in the throttle. That's crazy. That might be a setting, though, because... That's nuts that that literally is that much play, free play in the throttle. There's freaking cruise control on here. Oh my God, Yamaha, what are y'all doing? Oh my gosh, what? Oh, we're definitely gonna be using that as soon as we hit 95. Oh, dude, this thing feels so good. Holy cow, the tires are not warm, but. I didn't know Kawasaki was such a top-end bike. Like, you really don't feel any power until 10K. Okay, it's quick. It's not like... Oh, sh**. I'm gonna s*** my pants like H2 quick, obviously. It's very con- 
controlled. Like, I love how the power's there, but I, I'm not scared of the bike. Like, I respect it, and I already understand how it's gonna behave, even though I just started riding it. I love that. I'm impressed, Kawasaki. I was honestly not expecting that. All right, let's hit it one more time. Third gear, let's do second gear pull. This thing would feel like with a tune. I don't want to say this because I, I know it's not true if you look at the numbers, but I feel like this bike is not as powerful as my R1. Yeah, that quick shift is terrible. You can like feel my whole body jolt forwards when I shift it. But the reason why I feel like it doesn't feel like it's fast is because it delivers the power so smoothly. Like my R1 is definitely a lot more of an aggressive bike compared to this and that's probably why it feels faster but it may technically not be faster. And my own one's a lot louder. It's a very theatrical bike, so like you feel like you're in a whole show, like you're immersed in the freaking, in the experience when you're on that bike. If I could get this thing on some twisty roads, I would love to really get a feel for the bike, but we're in freaking Florida. There's no turns in Florida, it's just flat. That's why the roll racing scene is so popular down here. So I'm gonna save you guys this boring highway ride because I literally have an hour of riding left. It's gonna be me sitting in traffic like this. And I'll give you all my final thoughts once we get back to our destination. This thing is massive looking though. Like this front area is really big. Like it reminds me of my old R1. How like the front section was just so wide and massive. We're back. <laughs> Just a little bit of flame action. Just a little bit. Maybe when it's at night, I'll be able to show you guys some flames, but it does sound good. All right, let's see what you got, girl. There has to be some sort of wheelie control on. Cause there's no way I'm full throttling it in first gear and that front wheel does not want to come up at all. I'm gonna have to play with it. It's not my bike, so I don't want to change too many settings, but there's no way this thing is giving me full power like that. Bruh. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Man, what a beautiful view, dude. What a life to be living. Oh, we finally made it back. But yeah. I mean, honestly, I love this bike. Like, it's a really easy bike to ride. It's brand new, so it has no mods besides the slip-on exhaust with 1,500 miles on it. But I feel like with a flash and some little upgrades, it would definitely be an incredible machine. Honestly, my R1 feels faster, but my R1 also has a full titanium exhaust. It's got a tune, it's got a filter, etc., etc. So, I mean, I'd hope it'd feel a little bit quicker than a completely stock ZX-10R. My only gripe so far with this thing is the quick shifter. The quick shifter is terrible. I'm sure the tune to fix that but the auto blip is phenomenal it feels super light as you're flicking it around like really light i wish there were more twisty roads down here in south florida but there's not so i can't really put it through its paces there but i mean i love it so far it's got cruise control it's got the brembo brakes it's got the showa piston forks it sounds good it pops the zx10r definitely has the fast lane d stamp of approval but that's all i got for you guys if y'all enjoyed that video make sure you hit that like button Hit that subscribe button. Join the fast lane gang. Bang. Bang. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. We got a little hurricane action. Only in Florida, baby. What you run into a hurricane out here in a rush hour traffic.
Chopper's good. Hell yeah. <laughs> that thing is sweet. He gave me a thumbs up. I wish we had more room to play. I'm telling y'all, mark my words. One day, we're going to have one of these bad boys. 